Best known as the Sandwich King, Jeff Morrow has garnered quite the following over the 10 years since he won season 7 of Food Network Star in 2011 and walked away with his own Food Network show. On his self-titled series, the Chicago chef is famous for recreating some of the most mouth-watering sandwiches across the country, from Philly cheesesteaks to crab cake sliders. But Morrow wasn't always the successful chef and TV personality that you know him as. His path to Food Network stardom took a lot of twists and turns, from originally pursuing acting in college to opening a chain of fast casual sandwich restaurants a few years ago. Yes, believe it or not, Jeff Morrow didn't always know he wanted to go into the food world. In fact, acting was his first love. Prior to competing on Food Network Star, Morrow graduated from Bradley University in Peoria, Illinois, where he studied radio and TV. In an interview with Spoon University, Morrow confessed, I also loved performing. I was doing plays and comedies since second grade. I went out to LA, and when I had no success getting into the business, I went to culinary school. According to his Food Network bio, Morrow opened up a deli right after college, which he ran by day. And by night, he satisfied his craving to be in the spotlight by performing as Tony in the immersive Chicago-based dinner theater play, Tony and Tina's Wedding. He then moved to Hollywood, where he tried for a few years to make his mark as an actor. When that didn't work out, he enrolled at Le Cordon Bleu to become a chef. In addition to being known for his delicious food, Morrow recently made headlines for something else, his 50-pound weight loss. In a Facebook post, Morrow showed off his slimmer body, saying, "'Normally, I'm not this showy of my dad bod, but I am proud of my fitness journey and cannot thank my coaches enough for giving me a fitness home.'" How did he do it? The 43-year-old has been very transparent about the process, stressing that it wasn't a quick fix or a crash diet, but rather hard work and dedication. According to the same Facebook post, which was originally shared by Morrow's CrossFit gym, O'Hare CrossFit in Chicago, the chef can credit his new physique to a combination of CrossFit workouts and a, quote, sensible, monitored diet. The caption adds that this healthy, sustainable method of losing weight is also what allowed Morrow to keep the weight off as well. While Morrow didn't share his exact diet, the Sandwich King has started posting pictures of salads alongside his sandwiches on social media. Unfortunately, though, those sandwiches aren't widely available for you to eat, though Morrow certainly tried. Back in 2016, Jeff Morrow opened Pork and Mindy's, a chain of fast casual restaurants named after the popular sitcom Mork and Mindy. Until next week, nano, nano. The menu included protein-packed dishes like smoked meat sandwiches and even meat flights. Along with four locations in Chicago, Pork and Mindy's also had a line of barbecue sauces sold in grocery stores and even paired up with the Chicago Bears to sell candied bacon at the team's stadium in 2017. Morrow had plans to open about 30 locations by 2020. But, unfortunately, that didn't happen. Pork and Mindy's declared Chapter 7 bankruptcy in November 2019, shuttering all current locations according to Chicago Eater. The site reports that Morrow said the restaurant's expansion plans were too ambitious, saying they, quote, got out of control too quickly. Still, Jeff Morrow found a different way to bring his culinary genius to the masses by publishing his first cookbook in 2021. Titled Come On Over, the book includes 111 mouth-watering recipes, from sausage, egg, and cheese brunch sandwiches to cookie butter pie. She's like, why 111? I go, because nobody else does it. That's right, there's more than just sandwiches to be had. Morrow said he was influenced by both his Italian-American family and his mother-in-law's southern roots. Morrow told Southern Living, This book will help you with everything from just having your wife and son and daughter at the dinner table and creating great recipes to have and finally having your extended family to your friends to your neighbors over. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.